first of all, first of all, we got CT. I got to get to CT first. See, this is his third time doing Fuck Your Feelings. I love it. Hey, man, I love having you here, bro. And that's what I'm trying to make this podcast. This is a community for comedians. Mm. We come here, we cu- we talk shit, we kick it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So shout out to CT3 Pete. That's his designated seat. Sweet, he cla- <laughs> oh, he a serious regular? Yeah. Oh, he got to get upgraded. All right, brother. Come on, man. Got upgraded. Nice. Serious regular. We sitting on some bullshit right now. <laughs> right, right. He got to go. I'm like, am I reclined? <laughs> <laughs> And you know what's so funny? I got to go pick up a new one today. <laughs> Anybody that can't see the full time, uh, the one of them back, the back broke. My shit was gone. Yeah. I'm talking to the mic. I was trying to see. Yeah, it's a bullshit. I ain't going to lie to you. It's some bullshit. I ain't going to lie to you. And I only had you there because you're a woman, so I wanted to have you in the middle. No, you did right. It's better than a trap couch. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't sink down. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> And we got, man, we got, man, King Batch, man. I remember when Batch first moved out here, man. Uh, fucking killing it. Took over the internet. Uh, amazing. And we got one of my personal favorite uh, comedians. Uh, that's a woman. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I got a vagina. <laughs> Fuck your feeling. <laughs> no. uh, <laughs> oh, Precious Hall. I told her, I said, she wanted, she a queen to me. You wanted the queen, you wanted the new queens of comedy. Um, I referred you too for the new kings and queens of comedy showcase that they're doing. I, I, uh, somebody sent me. Okay, yeah, I don't I know if you want to do it, but I referred you. Thank you. Um, I referred CT. Okay. Uh, shout out, shout out to anybody that said he referred me. You're right. Yeah, yeah, man. So, anyways, man, how y'all doing, man? Thank y'all for showing up, coming through. Thanks for having us. For hey, real, man. For real. Hey, so we was talking about before you got here, Batch, how amazing your videos were. Oh, my God. Oh, so back in the day. Back in wait, the wait, when, wait, I, wait. when I was young and ambitious. <laughs> <laughs> wait, now, because I know that just sounds so backhanded complimented. Now, when we say that, the conversation we were having, not about anything that's doing currently. We're talking yeah. about. When I saw that Django parody video, yeah, I said, like, "Who the fuck is this nigga?" <laughs> because that shit looked like Django for real. Like it looked like the production quality was crazy. Yeah, and me and Justin over here shooting on bullshit cameras <laughs> and phones. Yeah, like who? Like so that quality, and that's what the conversation was. Yeah, never a knock to like, oh man, you used to be hungry. Not that. No, it was. Like, I used to be was... hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly what it was. No, but that's what you gotta do. You gotta, you gotta, especially like moving out here. You have to like, you have to make a splash. You know yeah. what I mean? And that's what everybody looks for. Like, if you look at everybody who's up and coming now, like they make a splash. Like Drewski, you know what I mean? Je- yeah. Desi Banks, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they all like make a splash when they come out, and it's like, oh, who are these people? What was their splash? I was kind of off social media. No, uh, no, I'm serious. Like, what what did they do so to get gained? They all attention? did like they all kind of like reinvented the way of like uh skits kind of mm. like with um like uh desi banks does like one take skits oh okay like just one take uh drewski does like different characters kind of like one take characters mm. and they kind of got their own lane you know what i mean gotcha i remember when i had a lane on uh social media <laughs> wait a minute what how old are we guys that was- Oh, you mean when I, had a, I had a lane back in the day? I, had a lane and I gave it up. I, yeah, I was like, driving too slow. Yeah, I fucking pulled over. I ain't driving too slow. I pulled over. I left the fucking car on the side of the road. Said I, pulled over. I said, I'm gonna walk. Like you walk? Yeah. Yeah. I walked. And I, I jumped out like, who's that nigga walking? <laughs> So, My shit got hit, man. Real. <laughs> so true, bro. So true. But that's why I always. That's what I. You know what I would always wanted to ask you, Batch? Because I always joke around behind your back, but I'm gonna yeah. say it to your face. I always well, joke around. Goddamn. Fuck your feelings. Fuck your feelings. I always joke around. I said, Batch told everybody about Vine right after he hit four million. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, you really gotta get on this shit, man. This shit, kind of good. <laughs> like, when he hit four million, he's like, Have y'all heard about Vine? Like, yeah. 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 like where was it when you was at twenty thousand? <laughs> So that being said, when did you find out about Vine? Like, when did you find out about it? And when did you realize, oh, shit, I'm picking up followers on this shit? Uh, Because I did YouTube. And uh, so YouTube, it takes a long time to get subscribers. Like, it takes a long time. So I was doing YouTube for, like, maybe uh, a year or two. And I only had, like, 10,000 subscribers. Mm. Right? So then uh, when Vine came out, 
uh, I remember like the followers just came in so but fast. Who told you? How did you know about Vine? Oh, I was at a party, and uh, this girl, she was um, it's always a girl. Yeah, always a girl. The girl, they be they be up on it fast. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So she was doing all these videos at the party, and and it was back in the day when there was no social media. Mm -hmm. So it's like. So I'm like, what is this girl doing at the party? Like, why is she filming videos? Like, come on, dance, have fun, talk to people, drink. You know what I mean? And there's like, oh, this is an app called Vine, and you shoot videos on your phone. And I was like, what the fuck is that? She's like, she has 500,000 followers. I was like, god damn. Damn. I was like, oh, shit. So she introduced me to her, and then um, it was Brittany Furlong. Yeah, okay. Brittany Furlong. That's what you were yeah. talking about. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah, so it was her. And then uh, we she were talking about how we both smashed her. Never. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know what she is. I'm like, yeah. I'm the rest. Keep going. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so then, so then she showed me. I was playing it cool because I ain't never seen like you know famous people like that before. So I was yeah. like, oh shit, what's up? Yeah, I heard you doing this thing called Vine. Doing it. It's like I should download the app, and then I started to make the videos too. And then um, I was just seeing like, oh, it's so quick, six second videos. You have to tell a story in six seconds, and then it just started to blow up. But yeah, go ahead. Let me hear your story. So in that in that type of story. So with this. Uh, Obviously, I jumped on social media so late. Like, I'm talking about 2017. The groundwork had been laid. Y'all had your mannequins <laughs> already. Uh, so, for me, I saw you, King Batch. I saw Simone Shepard, Brittany Furland, and I saw Paige Kennedy and yeah. Melvin Gregg and all you guys. Oh, Simone was the one that introduced me to Brittany. How about oh, that? That's crazy. Wow. Yeah. yeah. We were just talking about Simone. Yeah. yeah. And I'm like, they really created this. They created what the art of sketch on the internet was you know what i mean and it was one of those things where like when i started it was because of jahan so my mm -hmm. not knowing anything about the internet i followed jahan's blueprint right and then it was like okay cool i get it but y'all had created these empires and it, it was so foreign to me mm -hmm. about how to even do it right and then uh, that's crazy because jahan like he inspired me too because back when i moved out here he had uh robert townsend going to like he had like a I premiere, like a, some kind of premiere. I was like, who are all these big famous people yeah. going to his premiere? He got a movie. He got, I was like, I got to do what he doing. Yeah. And then I knew him from YouTube from back in Florida. I was watching YouTube videos. Wow. So it was crazy. I like, down, I get it. Hate that I keep winning. Stab my back is tempting.